Win $5,000 on a bet that only has a 7.5% house hedge? Yep, it's possible. I'm here today at the Grand Sierra Resort and Casino, and they've just installed the all new hot roller side bet at the craps table. I think you're gonna wanna come here to Reno and see if you have what it takes to be a hot roller. All right, today we're taking a look at the hot roller craps side bet. Now this is a pretty unique side bet. It's new to, at least here in Reno, I'm not sure anywhere else in the country that has it, but we're gonna take a look at it today. Now, if you're familiar with the fire bet and the repeater bet, this is almost kind of like a combination of both. So let's, let's kind of see how it works out. So you're gonna start off making your bet before the come out roll when the puck is in the off position. So you'll put it in the little marker spot in front of you. Now they allow from $1 to $25 here at the GSR. So you'll make your bet and then before the game starts, the dealer will collect it. So we'll play on position eight here. He'll go ahead and put the bet here for position eight. And now we're just looking for a hot roller. So what is a hot roller? A hot roller is a player that rolls all the different combinations of the dice. So for instance, let's say they roll a hard 10 five five the dealers will mark up this and then maybe next they roll an eight easy but the five three so they'd mark this combination they come back and maybe roll the six four ten so this combination would be marked and now they've rolled one number so they'd mark that they don't need these anymore and that's locked in so you can keep rolling these numbers it really doesn't affect the bet now you want to roll a number Another number that has all the combinations included, once you get to two, any two number combinations, that's when the payoffs start. So if you could see down here, it's probably pretty small, but once you hit two combinations, so two numbers are marked, you get five to one, three combinations is 10 to one, 20 to one, 50 to one, and if you can roll all the combinations for all six numbers, it pays out 200 to one. So if we make a $25 bet, could hit all the dice combinations, that's a $5,000 payoff. Not too shabby, that'd be pretty exciting. So let's go back to our example here. We've rolled a 538. Now we roll the hard eight, and then we need, still need the 6-2 combination. So we roll the 6-2. At this point, they would mark it, and now we're in the money. So at this point, we know we would get paid five to one for our $5 bet. The more numbers that roll, obviously the higher the pay table that we can achieve. But at minimum, we're locked in right now getting five to one, or basically we've won $25. Now, any seven stops the action on this bet, whether it's a come out roll or it's a seven out. What happens at that point, if you have two numbers or more, you would get paid for that. Let's say you didn't have two numbers marked, but maybe you had a couple combinations of the eight, one of the six, one of the five, one of the four. Because you haven't hit two complete numbers, you wouldn't win any money. So basically it would start over and you would actually lose your bet. So that's how you lose your bet. Now I mentioned you wanna make this bet on the come out roll when the puck is off, but the dealers aren't going to mark any of these numbers if there's nobody playing the hot roller side bet. So if you wanted to, you could come up mid roll, let's say 15 rolls in, say, hey, I'd like to jump on that hot roller side bet. You'd give them their money, they'd mark you up, and then you could just go from there. Once there's been a bet, the dealers are gonna start marking, and at that point, no one else will be able to jump in. So I think that pretty much covers everything. It's a pretty simple bet. Uh, let's see, there is one last thing. Let's say you do hit on two numbers in the seven rolls, you will get the payout, so we hit two, so it's five to one, so that you would get paid out $25, but it's five to one, which means they'll pay you out your $25 and your bet's still up to play again for the new round. So they'd collect those, the numbers would reset because a seven head roll either on the come out or a seven out, but your bet would be good, you'd get your payout, and we'd start over and start marking your bets. So let's go ahead and give this a roll and see if I could be the next hot roller. All right, just like any side bet, you're gonna to have to have some action in the game. So let's, 
let's just make a $10 pass line bet. And let's say we'll mark up the hot roller bet. The puck's off, so you're gonna be the shooter. The dealer or the stick man will take this bet. He'll mark up the hot roller. We'll dump the dice and choose to, and just now we begin the regular game. So let's see if we can hit a hot roller. All right, here we go, coming out. 12, 12 craps. So that's no good for our pass line. So we just have to replace that if we wanna keep shooting. Now notice the horn number is not involved in it. It's just the six box numbers that we're betting on, right? All right, so here we go, still coming out. Oh, got the stick in the way, here we go. Looking for a number, seven, all right? So here's one. So we're gonna win here. Here, remember, any seven stops the action. So at this point, we certainly don't have two numbers. We don't even have any combinations. So at this point, our hot roller bet would come down. So let's say we've got our profit here. We'll throw in the five and say we want, want to go back up on the hot roller. No problem, and here we go. Nine, five, four, nine. All right, deals will mark the point. And then now we have a five, four, nine. So now we need the six, three to mark a number. And obviously you can add whatever, you know, play your normal game. Again, just a side bet. All right, here we go. Six, three, look at that. So at this point, they would mark up the nine. The nine's hit, they can remove these little ones. They don't need those anymore. And now we have at least one. We gotta hit one more. Let's go ahead and pay our player here. He did hit his point. The puck's gonna go off. So we'll collect that. And we're gonna have a new come out roll. Again, this doesn't affect it, but any seven does affect this game. All right, here we go. Yo, 11. It's a winner on the front line. Just collect that up. It's a horn number, so it's not involved in the side bet. Two aces, two craps. So now we're going back and forth. We lose our pass line. Let's go ahead and rebet it. 10, 10 easy, 6, 4, 10. So let's mark the point on that. And we have the 6, 4, 10. So they'd mark that up. Now we need the hard, the hard 10. Hey, I don't know. Let's get paid both ways. Let's play the hard way. All right. Again, it doesn't, that doesn't affect the side bet, but it's just for fun. Okay, but there's the seven. All right, so we didn't have two numbers marked, so those would come down. We'd lose our bet there. Obviously, we lost our hard way, and we lost our pass line bet. Puck would go off. All right, we're gonna try it again. Pass line. Let's do a $25 bet. You can remember, $1 to $25 currently. So we're coming out. We'll move that up to shooter hot roller number seven, and good luck. Well, we'll dump the dice just to simulate a new shooter. Maybe we can have a little better luck this time. And here we go, coming out. Five, four, one, five. So we'll mark that. And then we'll also mark over here, the four, one, five. And we'll keep shooting. Eight, eight the hard way. All right, we'll make, mark up the hard way, eight. Nine, five, four, nine, five, four, nine. So we got some combos, we just need to complete the numbers. Not gonna happen. There's the seven, so again, we would lose the side bet. We did, we'd lose here on the pass line, obviously. And the bet would come down. All right, let's give it one more try. All right, we can do our pass line bet. And what the heck, it's just an example, so might as well go big. $25 on the hot roller. They'll set that up for you. I'll dump the bowl just to simulate a new shooter. And see what happens. All right, here we go. Two aces, two craps. It's no good for a pass line. I'm just gonna replace that. Doesn't affect our hot shooter bet. <laughs> Shooting craps numbers here, 12. All right, we'd lose that. We'd have to replace it if we want to keep shooting. Four, three, one, four. 
So that's going to be our point, and they're going to mark you up down here, the 314. Now we need to hit the hard four. Eight, the 538. So we'll mark up the 538. 314. All right, so this one we already have marked, so it doesn't do anything. It, we do hit our point, so we would get paid. Puck would go off, but it doesn't affect the side bet because we already have it marked. All right, here we go, coming out. Eight, easy. 538. Again, same situation, we already have the 53. All right, here we go. Five. The three two five. So let's go ahead and mark up the three two five. Six, the five one six. So we'll mark up the five one six. There's the five four one five, which I believe we already. Oh no, we didn't. That's a new one. So now we've actually hit our five. So we can mark that with the big puck. The five is hit. Now we just need to hit one more to get in the money. So our best bet is this six, two, eight here. Well, or the hard four. Come on, shooter. Six, two, eight, called it and the point hit. So that would be marked. Well, they wouldn't mean to mark it there. So now we're in the money. We've locked in. We know we're gonna get paid. Five to one for our bet. We're gonna get paid down here on the pass line. Puck is gonna go off. And we're gonna, uh, same shooter, hot roller so far is coming out again. I should mention that the Wizard of Odds has done the math on this game. I think he said he based it off of 25 billion roll simulation. And the house edge for this bet worked out to about seven and a half percent. So for a side bet, that's pretty phenomenal. I mean, if you're a hard way better, you're looking at 9%, 11%, you know, some of these other uh, one roll bets are 11, 14%. I mean, even the field here, we pay double. So we're at over five and a half percent for a field bet. The, you know, five and nine, 4%, we're looking at a 7% house, seven and a half percent house edge for the side bet. So I don't know. I know I'm not personally concerned too much about house edge. Um, it does play a factor for the casino, absolutely. They know they can kind of bank on that money. But for us as players, I feel like we just have to overcome the odds and roll the numbers. But if you are a house edge guy and you're worried about that, it's pretty decent, especially as far as a side bet goes. So if you're playing these bets in the middle, this is certainly even a better, better, better bet than that. All right, all enough chatting. Let's see if we can roll some more combos. Coming out, the 628. So we're back on that eight already got the eight so we don't have to worry about the eight anymore looking back at this did I hit all three combos the hard I must have I don't know um, hopefully I, I did that properly but the eights already taken care of so let's try to get let's we want that hard four all right here we go if I made a mistake I apologize three craps doesn't affect our game here ten the hard way ten hard that one's, that'll be a marker for us. I just don't remember hitting the, uh, the hard eight, but I must have. Or I marked it wrong or something. I don't know. We'll just continue on. Here we go. Four, two, six. Do we have that one? Nope. That's a new one for us. So now we're looking for the hard four, the hard six. And the easy 10 would be great. So we can get bump up to that next pay level of 10 to one. All right, shooter. Nope, not gonna happen. There's the seven. All right, so all the normal bets would come down. Like all side bets, this would be paid out last. So there was a seven, so the game would restart, but we did hit two numbers here. So they'd pay out number seven uh, five times. So that would be 125 out to player number seven. The bet stays up and the game gets reset. And that is the hot roller side bet. So 
I mean, we definitely made our money back for the couple times we tried it, invested. So again, pretty relatively lower house edge, especially for a side bet. And um, seems like a lot of fun. Now there is one question I did not clarify with the crew here before I filmed this video. And I just thought about that. And that is tipping with the hot roller. I can't imagine you couldn't. I'm, I'm guessing. Now I'll have to clarify and I'll put it down in the comments below or make a note of it here on the video. But I'm guessing that you can kind of piggyback your bet for the dealers. Um, and you know, maybe bet a dollar or whatever, you, however you want to tip and you could piggyback your bet, but I'm not positive. I'll definitely get clarification. So when I'm editing this, I can put a note up for it, but uh, that would be fun. Get them involved in the hot roller side bet as well. So yeah, definitely. I don't know where else in the country, but definitely here at the Grand Sierra, it's brand new. They started it the 1st of November and uh, come on down to Reno, check out the hot roller side bet here at the GSR. So until next time, good luck on coloring up.